To avoid unnecessary geoprocessing and to keep our geo database to a manageable size, we will need to clip our data. We do not have an area of interest created yet, but we can create a general clipping area of interest to serve as a broader clipping boundary. We will need to create two of these, one for clipping raster data types and the other one for clipping shapefile data types. So the first thing I'll need to do is turn on the data set that I can use as a reference to kind of give me a general ideal of where my project site is located. So that's going to be my aerial photography. So I'm going to turn off my USDA and check in my desk and I'm going to turn off my LiDAR data so that I can only see my aerial photography. Recall that it's my Mr. Sid. Now I'm going to turn on my source data and from here I'm going to zoom in to the location of my project site. So I know it's here in this northern area. And right here is the location of my project site. So there's a couple of ways that I can do this. The first way is I can trace the actual boundary of my site, which I'm not going to do. And the main reason why is because I want to have a little bit of context for this general area of interest boundary. And the main reason for that is because recall that no site is an island. Ecosystems do not respect project site boundaries either. So I want to zoom out far enough where I can see the surrounding context of the site and how my particular site's ecosystem may pour over into other adjacent areas. So this looks about right what I want. So now I'm going to be looking for my draw toolbar, which I have it docked down here towards the bottom. And I'm going to use the rectangle tool. I'm not going to use an odd shape because rectangles are often easy to replicate. And then from the upper left, I'm going to click and drag down to the lower right and release my left mouse button. Notice now I cannot see my project site because this rectangle that I drew has a solid fill. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to change that by right clicking on my rectangle, going down to properties, and change my fill color from this yellow color to no color at all. And then I'll click apply. Now we can see our project site again, but notice that it's a little bit difficult to see the boundary of our rectangle. So I'm going to change the color of my rectangle, and I could choose white or red or any of these other colors that might stand out. I'm going to choose white for this particular example and make it a little bit thicker so that I can actually see it. There, that works out pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. If you find that you need to adjust your area of interest, we can simply grab these handles here on the side, which will allow us to readjust it kind of in the X direction. We can grab these handles down here, which will allow us to readjust it in the Y direction. And we can also grab the handles in the corner, which will allow us to adjust it in multiple directions. So go ahead and readjust your area of interest graphic boundary. So again, we are going to be using this graphic area of interest to clip our rasters. And we're not going to clip our rasters just yet. We still have one more boundary that we need to create, and that's going to be for our shapefiles. 